Hi friends, I thought I would provide an update. Um, I let you know earlier that uh, I had a, a consultation with a, a psychiatrist today, which went really well. I, um, I was able to talk about my depression and what I was feeling without being too overwrought with emotion, which I don't think I would have been able to do when I first asked for the referral back in December. Having said that, I'm still pretty frustrated by the whole process. I'm frustrated that um, that there isn't more acceptance of uh, somebody reaching out for help. Now I understand that everybody has different levels of, of or not levels, thresholds before they ask for help. But I, um, I, I feel like there are lots of checks and balances that are in place that can become barriers to people getting help. Um, you know, I've I've felt periods of depression. Uh, I, I want to say for my whole life, but they've never been overwhelming. It's just sometimes I felt sad, and in the last ten to fifteen years, there were times when that sadness became uh, not an impediment, but it certainly impacted what I was doing in my life in that moment. Um, last year was the first time I really felt like uh, when that depression hit it was overwhelming it was so um, impactful that I couldn't function I couldn't I didn't want to get out of bed all I wanted to do and everything was cry I mean it was it was a really hard thing to navigate um, so I reached out for help. I went to my family doctor. My family doctor is very thorough. I won't say any names here. Um, but I was really surprised that when I said that I would like a referral to a, a mental health professional, the doctor's first question was why. Um, now I understand that part of that stems from them also being a business operator that needs to stay viable and they wanted to be a part of my treatment. But this is my first time navigating this world, and to be presented with first time with, with that question really felt like a barrier. And I think if I had been somebody else, I might have stopped at that point, but I didn't. I pushed on. I um, uh, then got on two waiting lists. I mean, the psychiatrist's office contacted me right away and made an appointment, but it was December. And the appointment was for today, in March. I, I'm, I feel like our system is designed to only treat emergent situations. Unless it's an emergency or unless you game the system and say, I feel like I might harm myself or I feel like I might harm others. You, there are roadblocks and barriers to you getting any kind of help. It feels like that in, instead of putting value on treating people and helping them to navigate things before it becomes an emergency, that there, the system doesn't value that process. Um, today I talked with the psychiatrist. Uh, it felt good to talk, but like I said to the psychiatrist, just talking about this brings those emotions and that depressions into the present moment and I feel that depression right now I feel it talking about it on screen with you um, but I also feel some relief in putting it into the public and knowing that it's not my burden alone anymore I also feel some gratification that the the psychiatrist came back with some comments I don't have any official diagnosis but he does believe I'm depressed. He does believe I will uh, benefit from some counseling. Um, he does believe that I may have some uh, disorders that make navigating the, that depression more difficult. When I know more, I'll let you know more. Um, uh, one of the things he mentioned was transition di disorder, which makes sense. You know, after 20 years of, of being at the music store and it shutting down, Transitioning to being a stay-at-home dad is a hard thing to navigate. So if anybody wants to reach out and talk about that, I'm happy to talk about you, um, talk it, about it with you uh, personally, but I don't think I want to air that right here, right now. 
Um, but yes, it, it was a positive experience to have that conversation with a with a psychiatrist. Uh, it feels like there's another barrier in that the psychiatrist is waiting until the primary care network now gets back to me in regards to counseling so that he can talk to the counselor about what kind of counseling I need. And again, it, it feels like because I am not an emergent situation that there's no value put on my treatment. And that feels really hard to take. And I hope that that this message reaches somebody who who understands that and can do something about it. Um, I'm not holding my breath. I, I, I may write my MLA, but I don't feel like they're doing much for me right now. Um, uh, and more importantly, though, I want you to, to know what I'm going through so that if you're going through something similar or something completely different that has some similar processes, that you know that you're not alone, that you know that you can talk to me, that there are people you can talk to. Uh, I have that in my life too. I have friends, I have family, there are people that I can talk to, but they don't always know how to deal with what I'm dealing with any better than I do. Um, so having a healthcare professional to be able to help guide me through that, I think would be very valuable and I look forward to that moment when it can happen. Um, so yeah, long video, but uh, just wanted to let you know that things went well with my uh, my uh, consultation today. I'm looking forward to next steps. I hope they happen more promptly than this did, but I don't feel like they're gonna. If you need to talk, please reach out and talk to Canadian Mental Health Association, um, especially if it's an emergent situation, especially if you feel like you might be in a position where you might do harm to yourself or to others, especially if you're in a position where you feel that depression is so overwhelming that you can't carry on, please reach out. Um, but even if you just reach out and talk to somebody and, and get past that idea that you're alone in your depression, because you're not. We're all on this planet together. We all experience some form of depression at some point or another. And sometimes it becomes too much for us to bear by ourselves. Um, and sometimes that sometimes becomes all the time. So talk to people. Talk to your friends. Talk to your family. Talk to me. Just um, keep talking and, and keep on abiding and getting up and carrying on life processes and being gentle with yourself and gentle with the people around you. Uh, ask me about my mullet for March Mental Health Awareness. I hope you're doing well. I love you. And more videos to come.